Hey guys, welcome to Crowbar Cracks Open. Uh, we will be taking a look at Lick Spear, uh, Double Spear Edition, uh, today here on Crowbar Cracks Open. This is, as you saw, a game that is currently available on Game Pass. Uh, I think it's a great little addition to pick up. Uh, we're going to take a look at what it has to offer here. Um, it's a pretty simple game. It reminds me of a lot of uh, um, flash game. I remember a lot of flash games that were very similar to this uh, concept. So it's very, very like Viking, you know, old. It's like neon Viking, like a weird cyber Norse kind of thing going on, even though it's very German and Germanic in its uh, language. Uh, not a whole lot of options, you know, very basic stuff. Um, I'm going to jump into my uh, starting game. We're going to jump here into the first level, uh, and I'll kind of explain uh, what it is uh, you do. Uh, I already, I was messing around with uh, level one earlier, that's why I was asking me if I wanted to continue. You will lose your progress in level one. Nine! Or oh, das ist cool, okay. Uh, I think das ist okay. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then here you can see uh, our objectives are to meet the nice wizards, get 70 headshots, and don't lose your licked, which is uh, who you control. Uh, so essentially, giant titans, it seemed like, were uh, taking over this this world uh, that the lift uh, people lived in. Uh, and your goal is to go and keep them from taking over. Uh, so you run and you have these spears of light um, that you uh, throw at these zombies. Um, and so basically, you move uh, your aim with the... Ah, uh, you move your aim with the left stick and you can either hit A uh, or right bumper to shoot your spear and as you can kind of see uh, you build power so you kind of have to hold and then release. Um, if you just tap it, it'll it'll go short when one of these guys is right up on my ass, I'll uh, show you how that works. Um, you can see those icons up there in the upper left, um, that number is both your points and the amount of money you make. Um, so at the end of the stage, uh, you will earn an equivalent amount of light, or I think that's what it's called, which is lift. Um, and you spend that on upgrades. Um, right there I have a super move. You don't start with any of this, by the way. Um, you basically started the game with nothing. Um, and then you unlock the triple spear, which is the icon on the far left there, uh, with the three little points. Then there's a uh, shooting beam that'll clear out anything that's maybe 10 feet in front of you. And then a, uh, a shield that you can use to deflect projectiles. And I'm not sure, I'm not positive if you can use it to uh, stop guys who are running at you. I haven't yet used the shield, so I just unlocked it last time I played. But it's a pretty simple, uh, simple game. Uh, obviously, you want to go for headshots. Uh, a lot of people, I'm sure, have played similar games in the past. Um, you know, these were a dime a dozen, either you know, uh, aim and then hope to hit obstacles and you know, keep yourself bouncing. You know, that was a, a variation of this that I remember playing a lot. But yeah, I mean. It does pick up. Um, right now we're only dealing with two enemy types. I'm going to jump into a later level, um, kind of show you. Okay, so, I mean, you can, they're starting to get there uh, with the big ice frost giants. Um, but enemies definitely get more complicated patterns, so you've got to work out, you know, specific places to hit them. Some enemies will take two of those ice giants. If you don't get a headshot, you got to hit them twice. Um, there are levels where there's boats. Uh, the game does a pretty good job of mixing up the locales that you're throwing the spears at. I think typically this game is either five or ten dollars uh, if you don't have Game Pass. So if you wanted to get it, on, I think it's available on PS5. We really should look that up before starting this video. Uh, but if you don't want to uh, mess with Game Pass, there are other ways to get this game. Uh, I believe it's on the Steam been out for, I'd say about two years, two, three years, I think it came out in the middle of 2017. Um, sometimes you can kind of just get in a rhythm where you're like popping headshots left and right, and, and that's always good. 
Here, I'm gonna... There, you can see the triple spear. Uh, w if I hadn't tripled hit, uh, it wouldn't have done anything here. He shakes his fist at you because you hit him in the stomach and then you shoot him again. Uh, but really, you're just trying to get through the levels. Uh, each level, I believe, has three stages. Um, most, if not all levels, end in some sort of boss fight. Whether or not there's an actual actual boss at the end of every level, I can't remember. There may just be like a tougher wave on, on some of them. I think every other uh, level has a boss fight, but we'll see here because this is the first level, so. Yeah, so I think it's every other level has a boss fight. Kind of like a Sonic, you know, a Sonic one that is. Two stages, and then a boss fight. Cause that's kind. Uh, I don't know if uh, you guys were really looking at the map when we first started, but uh, every world is broken down into two stages, and then you move on to the next one. I've only gotten to stage three, so I'm about. Uh, actually, I'm only on stage four. Uh, so, or level four. So I've only gotten, you know, two worlds in. I like the, you know, combination of the Norse and kind of night air 80s neon look it's very pop you know, it's got a look it's got a, a popping art to it you know very bright colorful early on this game is, is pretty simple yeah it's easy to jump into I like that you know it starts you off pretty pretty slow Okay, maybe there's five levels. Uh, honestly, I d I d it's been a while since I played this first level, so I don't necessarily remember too much about it, but we'll jump into where I am when things get a little bit tougher. Unfortunately, this is really all the game has. There's not uh, many mo modes, as you saw. You can shoot projectiles, um, which becomes important later on. But yeah, I mean, it's a very simple, simple setup. Dude with a spear needs to shoot, throw spears at incoming enemies. You know, the aiming is reminiscent of something like Castle Storm uh, or something like that. A lot of these turret or tower type games have similar controls. There is a little bit of a um, you know, slide, so if you try and uh, whip whip the directional there will be a little bit of a wiggle towards the end which I feel like helps so we got through the agent uh, wildwood 93% probably could have made it 100 if I was paying attention a little bit better but um, so we uh, did all the objectives so we have uber yeah uh, no fantastic uh, high score you guys are lucky. I was going to do this entire the uh, entire video in a German accent, and I opted not to because I was thinking of you. That's really it. I, I didn't want to put you guys through that. Uh, so you can see in the Licht shop, uh, we've got five new powers. Um, so uh, I only see four that I can buy, but it says new powers five. There's three, four, okay. So there's five different powers I can buy. Now I can upgrade my Tri Spear, my Lick Tray, uh, the defense. So um, I haven't used a lot of these. I do like the Tri Spear, so I think I'm gonna upgrade that. And then we'll jump into this, um, you know, so it, it holds on to your record, make sure, you know, keep track of whether you did all the objectives. You know. Did all the objectives there. So we got Das Gloomy Sea Castle, Das Forbidden Glaciers, Das Frostburg, uh, and the Frostburg is where I am on now. I don't have anything I can lock for 10,000. 15,000 I could get. Uh, no, that's how much I paid for the shield. 
Uh, cooperative mode exists, so you can play this two players. Um, and I thought for a second that they turned the second player into a power-up uh, if you were only trying it with single, but uh, in order to activate the power-up, you have to be second player. So essentially, it's very Mario-esque in that uh, the second person playing gets a little bit of an easy mode, similar to like a new Super Mario Brothers um, or something like that. So we're going to go through uh, the Frostburg here, and then I think that'll wrap up uh, our look here at Lichtspiel. Because they're, as fun as this game is, there really isn't a lot to it. It's one of those games where it's a simple concept, uh, well executed, and I think, you know, if if you are liking what you see, and you think this gameplay is something that uh, is your style, I highly recommend it, because... Um, it's got a cool look. Uh, I really like what they're doing here. Um, there's, you know, a, a high skill ceiling. You can get really good trying to headshot everything and, and get through these levels without dying. Um, there are definitely challenges you can present yourself when approaching this game. And I think that's really, really great. Any game that can kind of be approachable but then still make it challenging for those who, who do want that extra level of strategy it's, it's, it's tough to pull off for something like this you know for simple things i think especially because you know it's it's a matter of making it fun to jump into but also making it rewarding when you you have mastery level skills and i think this game ah i i should have used the the shield there um but yeah, you can see how it kind of ramps up, because this is definitely much more <laughs> hectic than, uh, you know, say the first level. And sometimes I just completely miss. Uh, you get three lives, uh, three lives to get through any level, so probably not going to make it here. Uh, and I know so easy, I said this would probably be our uh, last one, but I might restart if I die here shortly. should intentionally uh, let one of the guys come in and see if the shield blocks him or if it's just projectiles. It looks like the Lick Spear only goes like... Ah! Okay. So if you get hit by a projectile, um, if you miss three times too, uh, you enter a, like, a stun state. So I'll just... There it is, um, and it makes it so that enemies can just run at you. And I wanted to kind of show off what it looked like. And I misspoke earlier. You don't have uh, unlimited, or you don't have limited lives. You have limited continues. And so what that means is, once you get past the first uh, round, uh, you can continue at the round you. So uh, you saw on that first level there were five rounds. Uh, if I, you know, when I when you die, you start at the beginning of that round, uh, and you can do that three times. If you're on the first level, um, you can start it as many times as you want. They don't care. It's just a restart at that point. But once you start making actual progress on these levels, then they're like, hey, yeah, you don't get to just keep starting over as much as you need to. Okay, so the shield does does bat away and just... I find um, we might come up to them uh, later on. Uh, I know they were in the last level, but there are seals that are uh, probably the most pain in the ass enemy uh, to deal with because they'll uh, they they will slide down a ramp and then leap into the sky it, they they are slow moving and they usually come from positions that are really hard to kill them when they are slow moving and then they hit a ramp and become torpedoes which are, are very difficult to hit uh, there are fish that jump out of the water uh, that you have to kind of time with so it does get very tricky I, I imagine we're going to see some of those enemies here in this level, uh, if I get far enough, but it's a big hit.
the flying dog, uh, like the wing dogs, came, like when they first showed up, I thought they were gonna be a much bigger problem than they are. But honestly, I end up typically headshotting them just because of the way they fly at you. As long as you don't miss in a row, like that's the big thing. Three misses in a row is what leads to uh, you being stunned. So if you know you have two misses, make sure that third shot is very, very accurate. Um, that's probably one of the easiest ways to die is just being stunned because, okay, so we do have fish here and so this will probably be a good way to show you how easy it is to die. Although with the, the shield, that might be less of an issue. I think that's what it is. Uh, a lot of these enemies can be countered with some of the items. That one went right through his fucking head. I will have to bleep that out. <laughs> no, I won't, because these are still in the early phases of the channel but no monetization for this uh, video all right so right there the fish should have gotten me but I got him right before he hit um, essentially if he gets to the top of his jump um, on that last one that's when he kills you but I was able to grab him before he, he reached the top there All right, and then these are uh, where those uh, walruses or whatever, um, I think they're walruses. That's where they, these guys start showing up. You can see it's a pain in the ass to try and get them while they're still on the platform. And the fact that the bodies stick around um, starts making this much more difficult because it's hard to tell which bodies are moving, which ones need to be shot. It was a massive uh, pile of pink and uh, up there, maroon, burgundy, dark red. Yeah, I was gonna die one way or another there. That was that was a given. Still haven't gotten used to using the uh, the items. So I think we'll go one more death and then uh, we'll call it there. So I was barely able to uh, get that walrus while he hung in the air over me. The mages don't pose too much of a risk as long as you can make sure to take care of the projectiles. Those are really what can screw you. And it's not even them themselves, it's getting hit by a projectile and then having a different enemy attack you. definitely one of those games you can just jump into and play for a little bit um you know if you've got five ten minutes to kill between you know while waiting for someone to get ready or you know you're waiting for your uber uh that kind of thing this is a great game to just kind of fire up and uh knock out a level or two i apparently have made it to uh, some sort of Boss. Okay, the sea serpent. Um, so, like I said, after two level or at the, um, I want to say it was level two that I fought a giant pirate dude. Uh, okay, so he is, he's interesting, but he also took away my. Uh, Okay, the sea serpent is rough. Now I can see why you might need a uh, co-op mode. I had it and then it flipped around on me. So it looks like what has to happen is you have to kill his little dude, his little friend here. 
And then once you do, he attacks you. And you gotta hit him in the little mouth thing. And as he is a boss, they do not allow the, the secret stuff, so if that makes sense. Okay, finally at least I hit him. I, I was just getting sick of not hitting him. So we got one hit in. And that's the problem, I, I, I you know, the, 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 uh, the controls allow for both left and right movement, so I think while I'm trying to hit up, I'm accidentally hitting, you know, the opposite direction too. So while I'm setting my aim, I'm then flipping it, so. We've kind of fallen into a pattern here. It seems okay. You guys are getting to see uh, you know, one of the bosses, so that's good. Wanted to be able to show everything this game has to offer, and I think the boss fights are uh, are something unique that kind of work to this game's favor. Uh, break up the action a little bit. The wave base uh, parts of the game are kind of easy, or you know, they, they're the same, I should say. So once you start getting good at them. You know, there's not much to it. Uh, adding these boss sections changes it up a little. I will say the uh, first boss I faced, uh, all I had to do was knock off his hat and then uh, throw spears at his exposed brain. Uh, I want to say it was a zombie uh, pirate. But it looks like we should be able to get through this. Almost there. Oh no! Uh, I got complacent. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I will give it one more go. We did make it quite some ways in. Um, if we uh, die here again, I'm done. I, I'm not gonna subject you guys to yet another run. I will say uh, the first boss didn't take nearly as many hits. Um, so I'm a little worried as the game is progressing if they uh, if they fall into the trap of just adding health to enemies being the way to make it difficult. A lot of games will just do that. Instead of adding uh, interesting mechanics, they sense the way to add difficulty is just make it take longer. It's like, no, that's just poor game design, guys. Um, but this is definitely uh, different uh, from the first fight. Because I've got to worry about these ads every, every round. The last boss fight, there weren't any ads. Um, it was, instead, I had to be shooting, uh, he shot projectiles, so you had to stay on top of uh, shooting the projectiles. Which was a lot easier, I would say. You know, I think you had uh, far more time to react. It's like one miss move, like one one hit of the stick in the wrong direction and it can throw off my entire attempt at this, so that's the one thing that's, you know, I keep saying there's the one thing, though. There, there are a few annoying things, but it's got to be something that's frustrating beyond all hell. Oh, hey, I wonder if he could have killed me there, because that would have been awful. But we made it. How about that, guys? We made it through the sea stuff. And um, I didn't do the no. So nine, nine on the fantastic uh, score. I got a new fantastic high score, and that's good. That's that's is good. But yeah, um, it's a currently uh, Lixpia is uh, currently available on Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, definitely have it uh, downloaded. It's not a big uh, size file, so keeping it on your hard drive for those times you might want to check it out is well worth it. Um, as you can see, we're now we're, we're moving into a uh, sandy level, so 
you know, we go from a forest with some ice to glaciers to a desert. Seems like they're trying to mix up the locales pretty well. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to play more of this. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm going to upgrade my shield now that I know that it uh, can block enemies. And yeah, that that's going to do it for us here uh, on Crowbar Cracks Open. If you liked what, us, what you saw, uh, go ahead and check us over on Twitch when we do our streams, typically on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, we also have our WordPress uh, blog where I'm going to be posting much more, many more reviews uh, and some just random thoughts about the gaming industry at large. Um, I should be doing a lot more writing in the next coming, coming weeks. Uh, we are going to be having tons of more content coming up here on Crowbar, so definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, uh, and let me know what other content, whether it be Game Pass games or old games or whatever it is you might want to see from us, uh, let me know, uh, and I can definitely consider uh, it while I look to take the channel in the direction that it will be moving in for 2020. Um, these next couple months are beta. Um, I will probably have a more blog oriented video about that, but thanks again for joining us guys uh, I'm gonna get going here and you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye